Most of us are lucky enough or fortunate enough to be able to have a car and have access to it most of the time. Some of us, though, have to rely on getting around either by cycling, using public transit, or some of us choose to live locally and limit their time in a car. For people like Sean Tolliver, that means cycling or walking along some of our busy streets, and that can be nerve-wracking. Every street is a little bit different, and even with that said, some streets that I typically feel safe on any given point of the day could feel really dangerous depending on who's behind me in a car. The city's been crunching crash data and found drivers are getting into more crashes that are hurting or killing more people. So what are our hot spots? What are our corridors that we really should be paying attention to? KCMO spokesperson Maggie Green says the improvements they'll roll out tomorrow will be in those areas where there are a lot of crashes, like 31st and Troost or 31st and Prospect, getting people to slow down. Not overhauling the whole entire intersection, but what are some small, simple things we can do to improve visibility, to shorten crossing distance for pedestrians? That makes a big difference to cyclists like Paul, many of whom have a number of near misses where they could have been hurt or worse. We are one of the most deadly cities in the country in terms of traffic violence. You know, we, we talk about the murder rate all the time and how sky high it is. The traffic fatality rate is right up there with our murder rate. Which means... So any of these changes that can save a life is worth it. We can expect some of these changes to start showing up in the spring and summer months as those projects come together. Now, we'll be at that meeting tomorrow where they unveil what these changes will actually be. You can be there, too, if you want to at 4 o'clock. It's at the East Village Transit Center. You can find all the information about where to go and what time to be there on Fox4KC.com.